it's Herb again. I want to show uh, my progress on my little uh, 15C overhead cam engine. Also, uh, yesterday I put together a uh, bracket system uh, and mounted uh, my uh, or mounted a uh, eye gauging uh, uh, digital readout or DRO on the spindle on my lathe and uh, first of all I'll show you the bracket here this is the the bracket that I built uh, currently I'm not using this part up here but this is the lower support on the uh, for the for the DRO and this attaches uh, as you'll see later here to the uh, to the mill where the uh, scale is and uh, so we'll uh, we'll do that uh, give you a quick update uh, here before we move on to the mill uh, things that I've got done uh, you've seen the uh, crankcase before uh, it's it's done the nose piece is done uh, of course uh, the cylinder with the cylinder liner is done and this is the new part this is the cylinder head uh, spark plug goes in here the two valves hold down bolts this is the recess for the uh, uh, cylinder liner and then uh, you have the spark plug here and in, in the two valve seats so uh, that's all done I need a little work on the on the uh, valve seats but I'll uh, do that after I do the uh, valves so that's the uh, update on it uh, uh, a good friend gave me some uh, uh, Mionite uh, fine grain cast iron to uh, build the rings and along with the uh, lengthy procedure how to do it I've built rings before but uh, never quite was satisfied with them so uh, we're going to try a different approach so let me move the camera and we're going to put this uh, put this bracket on the, the mill and I'll show you my uh, setup there okay the uh, bracket uh, fits here on this uh, face and uh, it's got just enough clearance for the uh, the follower here that uh, goes down with the the uh, spindle and also this here now I have this set to bottom out because what I did let me see if I can move the camera here What I did, if you can see it here, uh, there's a hole in this uh, follower. So I uh, turned a uh, uh, turned a piece of aluminum and threaded it for a uh, 832 screw, and I split it a little bit so as the screw goes in, it wedges it a little tighter, and the uh, follower bracket uh, is attached to the the DRO and that's attached to, to uh, that with a little spacer in there to get the spacing right uh, up at the top here see if we can uh, see that up the top I drilled and tapped a uh, 1032 hole and I only had a um, slot slotted screw for the length that I needed but I built a spacer to get it the proper spacing and uh, then attach this top bracket to that so it's attached there the followers attached there and the bottom is loose although it probably work okay it needs to be a little bit more stable so uh, 
We're going to attach the bracket here and I'll show you how it goes together. Okay, we got everything mounted up here. The bracket's on. I left the, the scale off. It's pretty beat up anyway. Uh, and uh, mounted, mounted here on the lower side. And uh, this part up here, my intention is to put a, a plate over here to uh, mount my uh, easy read uh, caliper uh, remote display. Uh, just take you around on the other side. The display uh, here has a magnetic back, so you can. Uh, I mounted a, a little uh, steel plate to this aluminum arm that uh, my uh, Sony DRO is on and uh, so the uh, display is there I don't know how much glare we got uh, you can see it but uh, it's uh, it works uh, it works great so uh, tied off the wires uh, the wire coming from the, the, uh, uh, scale itself, I, uh, routed it around and, uh, zip tied it to the oil cup in the, in the back of the, uh, back there. And then that runs over here and we got enough slack where we can move this around. So anyway, that's, uh, that's the, uh, mill DRO. Okay, here's the uh, here's the uh, setup complete. I went ahead and uh, made a plate for here. Need to uh, cut an arc in it, and I'll do that and paint it later on. But uh, that's a uh, place to put that easy read uh, uh, remote indicator. Uh, so all in all, the project worked out pretty good. It, uh, I've uh, taken a measure on it. it; seems to work pretty good, and uh, we're uh, we're happy with it. So thanks for watching.